good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of the radio, so today we've got some very exciting news. I was talking to a friend earlier today saying we must be due a special Pokemon TCG set in the not-too-distant future, but we had no idea what it was. We hadn't even seen a trademark. Well, now we have. There's a new trademark that's been filed over in Japan, and it is very literally Paradise Dragona. And that's how it reads in Japanese. Those two kanji go together to make paradise, and then it's Doragona. Dragona. That's what it says. And here's the thing. Like, when we see these trademarks, I like to try and figure out what they mean. I like to have a look at these trademarks when Japan makes them. And, and to be clear, right, there's always a chance that it's, it's nothing, that we've got the complete wrong end of the stick. But I'm chatting to people I trust, like the lovely Primal Luger over at Poker Guardian, etc. This seems like it, it's been filed in the same kind of way. It seems like it's going to be a, an expansion. And you know what? Dragon special set. I don't know that it's going to be a dragon set. I don't know that it's going to be a special set. But, and to be fair, the special set is a thing I could well be wrong about. Could just be a regular set themed after dragons. But come on, ladies and gentlemen. Paradise Dragona? I mean, Dragon's Paradise or Dragon Paradise? That would be my guess at an English name here. And it's not like we've never actually seen something like this before. You see, we've seen dragon-focused expansions. And we've got some new dragons in the Pokemon TCG that have come around in the not-too-distant past. And you know what? I think this all goes quite nicely to tell us there is a new set coming. I think so. So in terms of the new Dragon Pokemon, we've actually got a couple of relevant ones. Now, I'm specifically thinking here about Diplin, about Hydrapple, and about Archaladon. And to be fair, Diplin is kind of the stage one leading into the stage two Hydrapple, so, you know. But Archaladon and Hydrapple seem absolutely like they could be here. Now, I should also mention that Walking Wake... Dragon, Gouging Fire, Dragon, Raging Bolt, Dragon, Roaring Moon, Dragon, and let's not forget Coridon and Maridon are, you guessed it, Dragons. But if we look at the DLC specifically, yes, I know we've got Gouging Fire, Raging Bolt, and Walking Wake. I know they're Dragons, but we literally just had Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces was where we brought in the fancy... Paradox Pokemon, some of whom are dragons, and I could absolutely be wrong about this, but it seems weird that they would go ahead and give us, you know, these dragon Pokemon there, and then go and give a dragon focus set featured around the same Pokemon. Could absolutely be wrong, but it does feel quite a bit like we've kind of done that and we can move on. But Archaladon? That seems like a Pokemon who could absolutely have its own set. I mean, remember, one of the Japanese sets that ended up making up Evolving Skies was very much a Duraludon focus set. So is it really so weird that we might have our Jaladon having its own set? And I don't think it is just going to be that Pokemon, incidentally. I think there are going to be other ones kind of thrown in there. I think it's going to be a celebration of dragons generally. But by the same token, like, if, if we're doing the whole celebrating dragons thing, well, surely we could... This guy's scraping perfect was a set, I should say. So surely if, like, we're celebrating dragons, we could also just chuck in a couple of the newer dragons, give them a little bit of a focus. Don't know for certain. Seems to make sense to me. But let's not forget we've also seen dragon sets in the past. Like, if you just... Get up a list of Pokemon TCG sets on somewhere like Cerebi, for instance, and you just search for the name Dragon. Well, we can go all the way back to 2003, where we had EX Dragon. That was a thing. That was a set. EX Dragon was absolutely a set, and that was kind of cool. It was not the only one that we had. We can go a little bit further into the future. We had Dragon Frontiers in 2006. 
We brought the dragons in properly in Gen 5 with Dragons Exalted. But then we also had Dragon Vault, which was a special set. More on that in a moment. We had Dragon Majesty, which was a special set. More on that in a moment. So could we see more dragon sets? Oh my word, yes. We absolutely could see more dragon sets. Honestly, that sounds like a pretty sensible thing at this stage. Not saying we guaranteed will, saying we absolutely could. Pokemon like doing dragon-themed mini sets, like back when we didn't really have special sets very much. We had Dragon Vault. And... I mean, if you go by the classification on Bulbapedia, and I know not everybody does, although, to be fair, I do think they're right about this, but they like to classify as special and main series. They've got Dragon Vault listed as the first ever special series. The first one we've ever actually had was a dragon theme set. And that was a special set. It wasn't, uh, you know, we, we have sets four times a year, generally in February, May, August, and November. This wasn't one of those. It didn't have a big set list. There was a whopping 21 cards in the set, including the secret rare Kyurem. All the cards were hollow, which is a bit weird. You couldn't go and buy a booster box or any of that. You had to go and buy little blister packs with them in. It was a fun set, and every single Pokemon in the set was a dragon Pokemon. It was a cool set. We all loved it. But then a few years later, we ended up with Dragon Majesty. That came in 2018, and that was another dragon-themed set. Now, it was a smaller set. There were only 78 cards in that one, but it's still a lot bigger than Dragon Vault. And not every Pokemon was a dragon, although there were a lot of dragons in the set. But then we had loads of cool stuff like Lance, who is, of course, a dragon tamer, got a prison star in that set, which was kind of cool. We had a Zinnia supporter card, which was in that set, which was pretty gosh darn cool. And it made sense. And it was a fun set. And Pokemon like doing this. They have made no secret of the fact that dragon Pokemon are special. And we have Dragon Pokemon at the moment, and they're kind of a bit, eh. And I don't say that in a mean way, but if we look at Dragon Pokemon in the game right now, that are seeing, like, significant play, that are at the center of the metagame, I mean, we, we do have Giratina V-Star. That is like a thing, which is awesome. But it's a very short list. Because they have awkward attack costs. They generally need multiple different kinds of energy. And Giratina really gets benefit from being a Lost Zone deck. So it's got the Lost Zone engine, so it gets Mirage Gate, which gets two different type of energy. But that's okay. Giratina wants two different types of energy. And actually, yeah. Okay, fine. That works. Outside of that, right now, dragons are not seeing a huge amount of love. And Pokemon know this. Pokemon follow the metagame. Obviously, Pokemon follow the metagame. Was it really be that unbelievable for Pokemon to turn around and be like, dudes, look, dragons aren't good enough. Let's do a dragon theme set, but also give them a bunch of support. That could be fun. I am not saying the double dragon energy is coming back. Not saying that. Absolutely am saying... The Double Dragon energy coming back would make a big difference. A very big difference. I would enjoy that. And I'm not saying it will, and I'm not saying it is. But I'm saying that's the kind of hopes I have for this set. That is the kind of thing where I look at this set and I'm like, that would do it, honestly. That would make me look at the set and be like, I'm in, dudes. I am in. Is it going to be a Dragon Freem set? I mean, come on. Look at the name. That seems to be a given. Is it going to be a special set? Don't know. Is it going to give specific support to dragon Pokemon? I mean, it would make sense if they're literally putting dragon in the name of the set. But we also have to go back to the whole don't know of it. There is a lot that we don't know. But you know what? There's kind of a lot we do know. Okay, fine. We know it's a dragon theme set. That's basically all we know. Do we need to know much more? I'm not sure we do. 
I think this could be very, 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 very fun indeed. I'm excited about this. I want a new special set. Because look, Pounday and Fates is a fun set. Love Pounday and Fates. It's out. Pounday and Fates is, is just there now. Cool set. Love Pounday and Fates. I've, I've, it's out. I can go and buy it whenever I want. And that's awesome. But I'm restless. I want the next big thing. I want the next thing that's going to come in and be cool. And I kind of hope it's this. All we know for certain is the name. And even then, it's not a given that it's a TCG set. But I think it is a TCG set. And I think it's dragon focused. And I am hyped. But I want to know what you think. I want to know your predictions. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.